What's up guys and welcome back to Software Audio Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Season 4 and its latest updates. Now we have new GPU driver updates, we have new updates for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and then we also have patch small updates that came out for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that is breaking people's machines and they aren't achieving the FPS that they want. Alright, so let's jump straight into the steps. I'm not going to make this video long, make it short, sweet and simple. Let's jump through the couple of steps that you're going to need to do with Windows inside the game and then everything you need to combine together to have a smooth gameplay experience. Right, let's jump straight into it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. You are going to Make sure that your machine is running correctly. This is for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. In fact, it's for all users out there. You're going to come to the search button over here and type in CMD and then right click on it and go to run as administrator. Say yes to the command prompt and you're going to open this up like this. You are going to type in SFC spacebar forward slash scan now one word and then press enter what it's going to do for you is it's going to scan your entire machine it doesn't matter how many hard drives how many ssds how many m.2s you have or whatever the case might be lots of people only have one drive like one m.2 one ssd one hard drive whatever the case might be the problem with that one drive you having one drive or even multiple drives is somewhere along the line something is going to get corrupted now this will automatically fix it for you on windows 10 and 11 and it will automatically do it for you and it's all you need to do is to scan your machine what it will do is it will tell you if you have corrupt files and it will automatically say that it's fixed it for you and you're going to need to restart your machine please go ahead and do this all right let's jump straight into the next step all right, ladies and gentlemen, so something that's very, very important is your C drive where your Windows is on, and I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. It's a very important step for you to do. I know a lot of people don't do this, so this is why I included this in my video for today for Modern Warfare 2 and its latest season. Okay, so you need to at least let your hard drive or your SSD or your M.2 like this be in the blue, not let it be in the red. Okay, so what you can do with this is you just right click on it and say properties and it will come into its properties like this. You're going to click on disk cleanup like this and let it select all of these. So select everything that's inside here and then say OK and then say delete files. What it will do is it will delete all cache files, all stupid bullshit things, temporary files, all that shit that you don't need on your C drive anymore. And it will automatically delete it for you and clean your C drive. Your C drive is your most important drive on your machine since your Windows is laying on it. Your Windows is installed on it and you want your machine to run perfectly fine. Now, it does not matter about your other drives being full, but it does matter if your game is on one of your other drives. So let's say your Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is, let's say, on this drive over here, right? It's on this drive. Then if this drive is too full and it's in the red, your games that's on there is going to struggle. So please let them all be in the blue and you should be good to go. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. Right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, so the next step I recommend you go ahead and do is a lot of people don't do this, this that often. And I'm one of those people, don't worry. But try and remind yourself to do this, okay? Try and remind yourself, you are going to need to do this. Even though we just scanned everything and cleared the cache files and everything on the C drive, there's still bullshit on your machine that you don't need. It's slowing down your machine for no reason, and it also impacts your games like Modern Warfare 2 or every other game that you are playing. So you're going to press the Windows key in R, and you're going to type in temp just like this, and press enter. You're going to click on anything inside here, press Ctrl and A, you might have a bunch of bullshit inside here, and then just press delete on your keyboard, and then say continue. Now it will do this over here, you just say do this for all current items, and say skip, because Windows is currently using this file, so it can't be deleted. Okay, you're going to close out of this, you're going to press the Windows key again, and R, and then this time you're just going to put a percentage symbol in front of the P, which is shift 5, go all the way to the T, shift 5 again, so percentage, temp, percentage, and press enter. You're going to click on anything inside here, press Ctrl and A to highlight everything, and press delete on your keyboard, and then go to continue. You're going to delete everything inside here that you can. If it asks you or shows you something like that you can't delete, don't worry, it's just Windows using that file at that moment, so you can't delete it. As you can see, I deleted everything inside here, and now this is going to be the last one you're going to need to do. Press the Windows key and R, and now you're going to type in prefetch, just like this, and press enter. Say continue to this, click on anything, Press Ctrl and A, highlight everything, press delete, and then do this on all current items like this, and say skip, 
and then Windows is currently using these two files. This is I just made a file now because it's obviously using stuff on my machine. And then there we go. We close out of this. Now what you're going to need to do is go to your recycling bin. I'm just going to move it to my other screen. Right click on it and say empty recycling bin and say yes. And say continue to everything and it will delete all the temporary files and all the bullshit that you don't need on your machine. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so something that's very, very, very important, which is your GPU drivers, your graphics card drivers. It's going to be for everyone out there, if you're a AMD user or an NVIDIA user, please go ahead and download the latest drivers. Now, as you can see, I'm using GeForce Experience over here. I click on drivers, I click on check for updates, and it will let me know if I have the latest drivers installed on my machine. If you don't have this application, just go to Google, type in your graphics card, and say update drivers or driver download, and it will automatically take you straight to the website, automatically put in your graphics card because you already typed it into Google or Firefox or whatever application you are using, and then go ahead and download the latest driver, which is 536.23. It's the latest driver for NVIDIA cards. Now with AMD, just go ahead and download the latest drivers. Now a lot of people are experiencing less FPS with the latest drivers and then they experience more FPS rolling back their drivers. If you are one of those people that roll back their drivers and get more FPS, I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. With me, this newer one, this latest one, which is 536.23, runs perfectly fine for Warzone and Modern Warfare 2, both at the same time. So I highly recommend you go ahead and download the latest driver. That plays a very big role on your machine. Let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so something that plays a very big role since you just updated your GPU drivers to the latest graphics card driver update is your NVIDIA control panel settings. This is if you are an NVIDIA user like me, I highly recommend that you open up NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on your desktop and then click on NVIDIA control panel and let it open. You're going to come over here where it says adjust image settings with preview and make sure you have yours on use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. It's basically just going to take you to manage 3D settings. Now something that you will realize is sometimes these things have changed by themselves. Now for instance, this over here has changed by me to eight for some reason, because I updated my GPU drivers and then it overrides the settings. You're going to need to come and change it. If you don't, your game's gonna run like dog shit because a lot of people say that you should put this on 16 and leave it like that. I don't recommend you do that because it's not just Modern Warfare 2 that's gonna run like dog shit. All your games are gonna run like dog shit because what you change here is called global settings. It changes it for all games you are playing. So you are going to turn this to off, right? What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down, all the way down, till here. Low latency mode plays a very big role on your game itself, especially with Modern Warfare 2. If you only have the Ultra option, I highly recommend that you select it. If you do have On or Ultra, you're going to need to choose one of them. Go into your game, check which one runs the best for you. Not everyone runs the exact same CPU and GPU together. The reason why low latency mode is a part of this setting inside your managed 3D settings is because what it does is it tries to make your CPU and GPU keep up with one another much much quicker. Now for me with my CPU and my GPU they pair up very well together. It's a 9700K and an RTX 2060 OC. On on for me they run very well together because they almost in sync with one another. A lot of people are running a better CPU than a GPU or a better GPU than a CPU. Then I would recommend putting this at Ultra. I would recommend you do that. Okay. Then a lot of people only have the Ultra option. If you only have the Ultra option, select it. Just don't put it off. Okay. Max frame rate off. You're going to do that in game. And then the rest of the settings, you can just go ahead and copy all of my settings inside here. And you should be good to go. All of these things here at the bottom is virtual reality. It has nothing to do with Modern Warfare 2. You are not playing a Modern Warfare 2 virtual reality game. So don't change anything there. Once you are done with changing all of these things, you're going to apply it. Your screen might flash a couple of times. Don't worry about that. It's just applying the settings you just changed now for your GPU and for your games that you're going to be playing right now. You're going to go to Configs Around and Physics and you're going to come inside here. This is your physics settings. So you are going to select your dedicated graphics card you are currently running plugged into your PCIe slot. 
which is my GPU. It's my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 OC. Now, for a lot of people out there that's running APU units, if you don't know what that means, it means that you don't have a dedicated graphics card and you have a graphics card built into your CPU. I have a lot of friends that actually has one of these where they don't have a dedicated graphics card, they have onboard. It's basically called onboard because the graphics card is built into the chip of the CPU. Then you can go ahead and select CPU. But not a lot of people have this. So if you do have a dedicated graphics card and it sits right here, click on it and say apply. It's very highly recommended that you go ahead and do that. From here, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and you're going to come inside here. Now, if you have multiple screens like me, you're going to select your main monitor or your main display or your main screen. You're going to come inside here and you're going to go over here where it says brightness. You're going to leave it at 50% because you're going to change the brightness inside your game, not inside here. Inside all your games you are playing, don't change it inside here, change it inside your game. But one thing you can change is your contrast. Now, I put my contrast between 65 and 70. 65 is my sweet spot, and it's been my sweet spot for a while now, and I'm going to leave it like that. You can play around with it, find out which is your sweet spot. Mine's 65, and then the gamma over here is on 1.00. Okay, now, at the bottom over here, I'm going to go to image 3, and then go to digital vibrance. If you are doing this with me right now, and you're watching my video, and you have this open on your other screen, or on the same screen, whatever the case might be, you're going to see this picture go black and white if you pull it all the way down this is digital vibrance now what digital vibrance do is it makes this stuff in the game pop more everything looks better your gun skins the walls the grass everything looks better in color now something i just want to mention is if you are a person that struggles with your eyes and you wear glasses do not put this at 95. You're going to put this down to about like 70 or maybe even 65. You're going to fuck up your eyes in the long run. I'm just putting this out there. I've never put this out there before, but I highly recommend that you put this down if you have problems with your eyes. If you don't and you have the best of vision and you're all good and you're sorted and you don't really notice anything with your eyes that's bad or anything like that and you're all Gucci to go then I would recommend 95 and it's a very good sweet spot for gaming in general with all games not just Modern Warfare 2 with all games everything's gonna pop out for you and you can actually leave a comment down below if this settings in my NVIDIA control panel settings has helped you gain more FPS and the game looks much better that you are playing not just Modern Warfare but other games as well please leave a comment down below it will be much appreciated to know that it actually works for other games as well for you guys not just for me but for other people out there that's watching this video as well right once you're done with this you're going to say apply your screen might flash a couple of times don't worry it's just applying the settings right let's jump straight into the next step all right ladies and gentlemen so the most important role before we jump into the game itself is its config file call of duty modern warfare 2's config file that we're going to be changing for people out there because you can get an increase of 30 fps all the way to 50 fps increase by just changing the config files settings now you're not going to fuck around too much with this you're just going to change the things that i'm going to show you all right let's jump straight into it you're going to go to your file explorer like this go to documents go to call of duty go to players go to this file over here that says options.3.cot22 and then open this up with any notepad or any editing software and then scroll all the way down to the bottom now it's gonna be these that we're going to be talking about okay plays a very big role inside modern warfare 2 plays the biggest role because it is its config file itself it's going to change it not just for modern warfare 2 but it will change it for warzone as well so if you've done this on my warzone video you should be good to go if you haven't seen that already and you're watching only my modern warfare 2 video let's go over it all right so render a work account is going to depend on your cpu that you're running okay yours might be defaulted to something that you've if you've never touched this before it might be defaulted to something that it shouldn't be on and you could get more fps depending on your cpu that you're running I've got an 8 core 8 thread CPU, it's a 9700K, so I put my total cores inside here, which is 8. Then a lot of people are saying, then halving their cores makes their game run better. So meaning I have to put mine at 4, and then it would run better. For me in general, the later season, it does not run better, I actually do less FPS, so I leave mine at 8. And you are going to put your total cores there, not your performance cores, your total cores, not your threads. I know it says their thread count for handling the job no 
It's not your threads, it's your cores, okay? So it's going to depend on your cores that you have here. If you have anything lower than eight cores, like six cores and four cores, I don't recommend halving it. Don't do that. Rather leave it at its total cores or leave it at its default settings, okay? I'm going to go over how to get your shit back to its defaults if you change something inside here and it fucked up your game, okay? Now, this over here, which is video memory scale, as you can see, mine over here says 0 0.9. It's because my video memory scale in-game is at 90%, okay? Now, if yours is at 70% or 75, it will say 0 0.75. If yours is at 50%, it will say 0 0.50, okay? That's how it goes, right? You do not need to change anything inside here in the config file because it automatically does it for you inside the game. This one over here, I've read up on Reddit and on social media platforms where people are talking about changing this to false over here. So you type in false and then save it. Then you get more FPS out of your game. Now for me, with the latest season, it doesn't do jack shit. And jack left town, so it's just shit. So I don't recommend doing this, okay? So just leave it at true, leave it there, you don't need to change it. If you change this and your game's completely fucked, or you change something inside here that you shouldn't, this is something I want to point out. You're going to go ahead, let's just say you save your settings, right? So this is how you save it, you come up here, and you say save, okay? You click save, and it will save it for you, right? Close out of this. If you fucked something up and your game doesn't want to run anymore, or you're black screen erroring, or you're getting less FPS, and you want it to go back to its defaults, you're going to right-click on this and say delete. It will automatically, when you open up Call of Duty Modern Warfare, automatically put a new config file there for you and then you can change whatever you mistakenly changed don't then change that rather leave it at what it was or total cause half your cause you catch my drift that's what you're going to need to do all right let's jump straight into the game let me show you the best settings you can use right now for the latest season Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in the game right now, and I'm doing a quick play. As you can see, I'm in the lobby right now. I'm doing about 115 FPS max because I'm recording, so I'm losing a little bit of FPS. So if you're not recording and you're not a streamer and stuff like that, don't worry. Your FPS will be higher than mine, especially if you're running a better machine than me. I'm running a 9700K, a RTX 2060 OC, and 16 gigs of RAM. If you're running anything higher than that, you are sweet on this setting over here so you're going to go to this little gear icon over here and then go to graphics and you're going to come to quality and then use this upscaling over here if you have a machine like mine or better than mine i've noticed something very very hectic i took a screenshot okay for my thumbnail in the game now i tried every single upscaling to see what makes this the thumbnail look really good because then everything in the environment of the game looks amazing this is the best upscaling to take a screenshot because then the quality of the game looks really good so like i said if you have anything like mine or better go with this upscaling the game looks absolutely amazing if you are only playing modern warfare 2 and not warzone okay i highly recommend you go with this upscaling over here you're going to go with 90 on the vram scale and then you're going to go with normal high high and high i realize that if you put these lower the game does look like dog shit but i don't recommend doing it because you do get more fps yes you do but your game intends to look like dog shit and you don't want that so i highly recommend you go with this upscaling if you have a machine like mine or anything better if you have a high end machine go with this upscaling and go with ultra quality it's very very good it's a, it's one of the best upscale it's literally the best upscaling i would recommend you to use for modern warfare 2 now for people out there that is struggling that is struggling with fps and they can't use this upscaling because they're doing like less than 100 fps or less than 80 fps and using this upscaling what you can do is you can drop it a bit down to quality or balanced and try that out if you're not satisfied with that then i would recommend going from this to you can go with this then you're going to need to change this to uh, ultra quality not native ultra quality then it makes the game look really really good but if you put this at native and using nvidia image scaling with multiplayer modern warfare 2 the game looks like dog shit i had to change it from this to this upscaling to do my thumbnail because the game looked like dog shit it's very um 
sharpened and it's the, the trees don't render incorrectly and stuff like that on this upscaling if it's on native but if it's on ultra quality it looks really fantastic so if you want to use this upscaling of here the nvidia image scaling use the ultra quality setting and then have this at 10 but this is your own personal preference now if you don't like this i would recommend using amd fsr and then have this at ultra quality as well you want the best quality out, out the game but you also do want to use the correct upscaling and sharpening now for people out there that's running anything lower than my machine i would recommend using amd fsr 1.0 i have a lot of friends that's running all the generation graphics cards and this is the go-to upscaling and sharpening with this being on ultra quality and then again they're choosing between this and then fidelity fx cache highly recommended you use fidelity fx cache if you are losing fps and the strength at 60 percent it's really good at 60 percent on a monitor a laptop display gaming display i've tested this on all of displays fidelity of this cache is really really good the game looks really fantastic the quality looks good the sharpening looks good and everything else you're going to need to tweak as well which is this one of here you're going to put this at filmic sma t2 times this at normal do not push this up to ultra quality at normal if you want to get more fps out of your game and your game will still look perfectly fine vram usage at 90 percent this at normal high high and high now a lot of people don't use this they will use this one of here then a lot of people do use um the video deal ss now something i would just want to point out is with the new season everyone else or they watched my old seasons video right season three if you use the video deal ss what it does is it gives you blur effects on the left and right hand side of your screen and the game doesn't look that good but if you are using the video deal ss i would recommend then pushing this to quality then your game looks much much better and then you're gonna have to play around with this one over here but right now at this very moment at this very moment i highly recommend you go with this one over here this one over here would be the best upscaling for Modern Warfare 2. For the game to look good, good FPS and everything. But then it's going to depend on your machine. If you have anything like mine and higher, you go with ultra quality. If you have a lower, lower generation graphics card or a lower generation CPU, go with quality. If you're going to have a machine like a mid-tier to very low end, I recommend balance and performance. Try it out. This is the best upscaling right now for this game. But you can go with the other ones as well. Like I said, AMD FSR and Fidelity FX Cache. It's very good. Just don't turn it off. As soon as you turn it off, you're going to lose FPS and you are not taking advantage of the upscaling at all. Right. So if you are using this one what it's going to do is it's going to override these two things just have this at ultra quality you should be good to go have this at 90 percent normal high high and high i'm going to go over these at the bottom so clutter draw distance short particle quality at low particle quality level at very low and then bullet impact sprays has no impact on your fps your cpu your ram or anything you can keep this on damage layers is your own personal preference literally your own personal preference shader quality has nothing to do with the in-game character quality like the character and the gun skin now between this and that there's no difference and a lot of people get this confused. They say that, no, I have to put out this because my game looks way better like that. No, no, it does not. You're lying to yourself. It does nothing. I've tested this myself. Please turn this to low. It's just an FPS hogger, and it's all it does. Tessellation off, off, always off. Don't put this on. You don't need this. On demand, test streaming off. Turn it off. Switch it off. You don't need this at all. I don't use it. And I wouldn't take advantage of this either. All right. Streaming quality, always low. You do not need this. Volumetric quality, low. All right. Physics quality, off. You do not need to see the physics in this game. Water quality, this is multiplayer. So you're going to be diving through water and stuff like that on, let's say, a search and destroy map and stuff like that. You can, if you want to use those options, right? If you want to use those options, you can go with wave wetness. You, you can. You can go with it. But I don't know why the fuck these options are in here because you don't need to see the quality of the water. The water looks exactly the same if I put this at default. Literally, it looks exactly the same. So if you want more FPS, put it at default. Okay, from here, shadow map resolution. Very low, don't need it in the game. Screen space reflections, completely off. Spot shadow quality at low. Spot cache, high on Modern Warfare 2. Warzone, ultra. Spot cache. It plays a very big role with stuttering in the game. Particle lighting at low. Ambient occlusion off, off, always off. Unless you're playing, like for instance, the episodes and stuff like that. If you're doing that and you're doing the carp missions and stuff like that, you can take advantage of all these settings and put them all high and stuff like that. You should be good to go. But we are playing multiplayer. So we're going over the multiplayer settings. All right. So this one over here, screen space reflections off. 
and then reflection quality low weather grid volumes off do not need this you do not need to take advantage of this on plus boost always that's always been a thing depth of field off world motion blur off weapon motion blur off you do not need it in a multiplayer game form grain 0, 0.00 now a lot of people do up this so it's going to be your own personal preference literally your own personal preference but i highly recommend using the settings i'm showing you right now so i'm just going to apply this what you're going to need to do next is this over here is go to view but i can't tell you what to do here you can copy mine if you want to but it's your own personal preference on what you're going to do inside here inside the view it's your own personal preference now something we're going to take advantage as well with modern warfare 2 is this over here you're going to come to interface and you're going to go to color customization come here put this on filter to both 100 percent 100 percent scroll all the way down to where you see your enemy you're going to click on this and then choose your own personalized color mine is pink magenta pink over here you can just type that number in here and say apply a custom color and then this is going to be the most important step that you're going to need to take to apply all of these settings is this over here all right so once you're done with everything you are going to click on restart shader optimization click on restart and then you're going to go out of your game completely completely close the game restart the game and at the top here it's going to say installing shaders now let it finish installing because it's applying the settings you just copied from me and it will apply it to your game ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel for your new year and as always Peace.